Zeta Cell's group of six chimpanzees. Inside, veterinary nurse Joe is training Nikki, an adult male chimp, ahead of a major medical operation. She's teaching him to present different parts of his body on cue in return for awards. Very good boy. This guy is a real good leader. And he's just a real down and out good guy. He's the biggest chimp we've got. She's hoping that for the operation, he'll receive his anaesthetic by injection rather than having to dart him. We're knocking out an animal that is very well loved by the keepers. So it carries a degree of anticipation and nervousness because it's a big procedure. They're very dangerous animals. At Whipsnade, the concern today is with the other end of the life cycle. Many chimps in the wild and captivity die of heart disease, and head vet Nick knows his chimps are also at risk. We spend a lot of time at ZSL and time and effort, hello, to look up the cardiac health of our gorillas down at London Zoo and our chimpanzees here at Whipsnade Zoo. Over the last decade or so, two of the chimps that have died at Whipsnade died of heart failure. And Two of our living chimps, Nikki and Phil, also carry this gene. So we need to find out whether they've got this condition or not. So I've got a torch, got everything else with us. Darting stuff if we need it. As part of research for the Great Ape Heart Project, Nick's team will implant small recording devices into Nikki and Phil to collect heart data. Nikki is about five times the strength of an average human man and not only they're strong but they've got the intelligence that goes with it so it's not as though you're just dealing with a tiger that has got the teeth and the claws you know you're dealing with something that would literally rip you <laughs> limb to limb. If people ask me what is the your most scariest animal that comes down as a chimp every single time. We're just staying here because we want to try and keep the routine as normal as possible. Um, they're very smart and uh, slightly suspicious to say the least, so when we do anything out of the ordinary they wonder what's going on. The chimp training has paid off. Joe has managed to inject Nikki by hand. The team now have just two hours to get him onto the operating table and complete the surgery. Okay, let's do it, let's do it. That's, that's how you is, please, you can guard the head. Oh. That's good. And then lift him like that if we can, keep him on his side and he's going to go onto his front side. At Whipsnade Zoo, head vet Nick is preparing to implant a heart monitor into Nicky, one of the zoo's prized adult male chimps. Oh. Keep him on his right side because he's clean. That's good. Are we okay to put some blankets over his back end because it's cold already? Under anaesthesia, Nicky can't regulate his own body temperature, so the team need to help him keep warm. Performing the surgery will be human heart specialists Professor John Somaru and Dr. Simon Modi. They will implant the heart monitor in Nicky's back out of his reach. Okay, you got the device? This is a recording device. You can pick up all the uh, heart rhythms over the next three years if it goes in. This is the first time they've ever operated on a chimp. Nikki's surgery is nearly over. The heart monitor is in place, but they'll need a special stitching technique to keep it secure. The other here is closing the final layer, really to try and make sure that the chip can't 
uh, attack that little area that's that's quite prominent and, and, and pull this device out. So you're going to try and sink the, the stitches quite low down so they can't feel it. It's all been very smooth so far. I'm never happy until they're back and they're awake again because it's it's a big deal. But um, no, it's going very well so far. So fingers crossed for the rest. Snade, veterinary nurse Jo has managed to download data from Nicky's heart monitor that will give crucial information on his heart condition and help research into chimp heart disease. He's been really, really good. It's, it's an odd thing to ask them to sit with their back to you because they can't, can't see what's happening. Um, but he's been very patient and very good and, and it's, it's great now that we're managing to actually download that information and have a look and see what's actually going on with his heart.